Hi, um, I'm Elizabeth and I am from conifercrow.etsy.com. I am here to show you the my magpie bundles. Magpie bundles are fabric covered junk journals. For those of you who haven't used a junk journal before, it's essentially a collection of random and vintage or handmade papers all bound together so that you can use your creativity on every page. There are, um, you'll find that there's some differences in structure and some additional stuff going on in here. I wanted to show you this one today. This one is my, um, well, it's, it's based on Lord Byron, actually, with a Lord Byron quote on the back. It's closed with a length of hand-dyed silk ribbon that you just wrap around. And inside, let's see if I can get this in camera. There we go. Inside, you're going to find all kinds of different page types and structures. There's also a lot of um, ephemera that I stuck in as extras so that you can use it either, either just leave it if you like the way that it looks or you can take it, take these little bundles apart and use them in your own um, work on these pages. There's um, little bits of paper, there's some stickers, there's all kinds of crazy stuff and we'll get to that as we go through this. Um, a lot of these are hand dyed and or handmade papers. Um, these are coffee dyed. There are lots and lots of pockets, sometimes with fun stuff inside that doesn't want to come out because of course I'm on camera. There we go. <laughs> Little additional booklets so that you can do some extra journaling that just slide right back in and hopefully come out a little easier than they did that last time. <laughs> There's vintage ledger paper, imagery. These are fun. Almost everything is sewn together. I um, really like the way that sewing looks and sort of feels on a page. There, it adds kind of a tactile element, like I've said before. There are flip pages that you can hide things in. I tried to leave uh, a little bit of blank space. Some of these books that I'm, I'm showing off today do a better job of that than others because, as I've mentioned before, once I start making something, sometimes I have trouble stopping. Here are... This is all hand-painted paper. And then some more little bits and pieces of things. I think almost every one of these pockets, I tried to fill the pockets and little tuck spots like this with, um, with stuff. You can stick more stuff behind there if you want to. Um, I don't think I left any of them blank. If I did, I'll try and fill them before I mail them out to you if you end up wanting one. A vintage book on accounting, which was so much fun to find. This is an envelope with a tag in it, in a tuck spot. More. There's fabric on some of the edges. Some of them fold out like that, like I mentioned. There are bundles of things. Vintage slides with little images in them. I do leave the, the threads kind of long and messy because I'm kind of a messy person myself and I really like the way that looks. Each of these journals, if you're looking at the, the um, listing on Etsy, it, I tried to get some good close-up pictures. I know that video doesn't always show accurate colors, so I wanted to try and get about 10 pictures of each just as a good representational sample. And you'll find, that's all in here, vintage maps and atlas books, which I just adore and cannot resist every time I run across one at like a thrift store or a vintage market. Some tags you can use, more hand-painted paper. This is um, rice paper, which is really fun and it has this neat feel to it, which you'll, when you get it in the mail. This is a double pocket, so you've got a pocket there and a pocket here. A 
Oh, I missed a pocket. Here's one right here that'll be full before it gets to you. More little bundles. I think this would be neat with a picture or something stuck here in titling written in here. Some more little bits and pieces. There we go. And then when you're done, you just fold it on up and wrap your wrap your stuff around it and tuck it in and you are good to go. Hopefully that's all been on screen. There we go. And thank you for taking a look.